Hello. So we've got about an hour to get ready. We're going to the melting pot. It's a fancy restaurant. And we're doing a little early Valentine's Day dinner. But I thought I'd take Hank on a walk. It's a very nice day. And we have been neglecting the walks because I haven't felt like going on them. <laughs> but we're gonna go around the corner and see if the bunnies are still there. I don't know if I put it in a video. I think I did a couple videos ago. There were these two bunnies that live in this neighbor's yard. So we're gonna see if they're still there. And then I will show you, there's part of the fence and like the whole brick on the bottom is gone. So there's a big hole in it. And yesterday, Hank fit his way through there. It leads to the Macy's parking lot in a busy street. And it was about 10.30 and he ran away. So he was in trouble. He knew I was mad at him and he moped around all day today because he knew that he was in trouble. He's looking for him. <laughs> it's crazy that he remembers. Where are they, Hank? I think they're gone. They're usually underneath that car. Oh no, I think they're gone. the magical tree where Hank always finds food. And he found some. Do it. He found like a whole cracker. What the heck? Hank, I have no idea who just leaves food over here. It is crazy. Oh my gosh, there's a french fry. Okay, I'm gonna leave. And there's like a sandwich. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Okay, I'm gonna This is where he escaped yesterday. And we gotta put some rocks or something up. Let's find some rocks. Fill it back in. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. That's what we have to do. Cocktail sauce? I yeah, like cocktail it's deep sauce. Down in there why now. is it? Why? Why? They like, you want they this want, lettuce? They want you to work for it. You try the cheese first. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture for oh, okay. famous snacks. This is good? Yeah, it's not too spicy. Did you burn your mouth? No, not at all. Okay. Do you want oh, yeah. the chicken or that? Well, can I try one piece of that yeah, one? Yeah, of course. You can. Have, we can like split it evenly. Oh, I'm gonna have to split it evenly. Yeah. I just want to try one piece. I'm gonna. Put the, yeah, put a couple the in. The mushrooms there. are floating. Okay, gonna taste this, please. Bam. That tastes like absolutely nothing. Which one was that? The green goddess? This no, one? no, no. That's just. That tastes like um, whatever we ate with the shrimp. It said it was like sour cream and onion. Yeah. Again, uh, I can't taste anything. Mm -hmm. It tastes like kind of like a honey barbecue. It's like a honey mustard, right? Chicken curry. Oh. That one's pretty good. It tastes like Asian. Oh, yeah. The boiled steak is interesting. Oh, my. This is what I came for. Please. All the chocolate. All the chocolate. Mm. Eat as much of it as you want, babe. I'll just eat the scraps. So it was two hundred and three dollars. Oh, that's why. But I was really looking forward to the chocolate, of course. If you didn't know, I'm, I love chocolate, and I was quite disappointed. It tasted like uh, like the frosting on those cheap chocolate cakes you get at a grocery store, like identical to that, but they just melted it down. Yeah, they had like a brownie and a blondie. Rice Krispie Treat and it all tasted store bought. Like I would enjoy it much better if I made it at home. I was pretty disappointed, but you know, whatevs. It's all about the experience. I also wouldn't say that was like a $200 experience. 80 bucks, yeah, I could get away with that. It's like, you know, whatever. Yeah. But 200 bucks? Yeah, maybe 100. Yeah, like 100 on the high end, but like 200. No. That's because they're tacking on a 20% gratuity tip. 
It came out like 30 bucks for two people. Yeah, I think that's what I was gonna say two like that. There he goes to his new happy place. No one is getting into bowling, so dropped him off at Miracle Bowl and I'm gonna go run some errands. It is Saturday, so I'm gonna stop at Savers, see if they have anything, and then also get some more yarn because I have three current projects that I'm working on. I'm crocheting a skirt out of granny squares. I'm crocheting a pillowcase for a pillow that I don't really like, like a decorative pillow, you know? And then I am making a cardigan, but I want like a silkier yarn. Also, I bought this basil body temperature thing. Oh, here it is. It's just a thermometer and it connects to an app instead of using like birth control and it's supposed to tell you when you're ovulating. Oh my goodness, no one's gonna be very jealous of these guys. These guys have their own balls, their own bags. Yeah, that's what Nolan wants. We'll get him his own ball very soon. Anyway, I bought that thermometer and connected it to the app. The app is not user friendly and you have to pay for like the premium version of everything to get any information. So we're turning that because that doesn't make sense. I will just keep track with my flow app. Anyway, let's go run some errands. Oh, and another thing. So this morning I saw our little neighbor friend, his name's Michael. He literally like talks to everyone and knows everyone's business in the complex. But anyway, he's super cute, super nice. And he gave us some hot fries, like a whole giant bag, which are delicious. And we have been eating them for breakfast. Anyway, he was telling me about how he likes this girl at school and he wanted to get her a valentine, like a, a teddy bear, and give it to her on Monday when they have like their valentine stuff, but he is not allowed to spend any of his money until he reaches a hundred dollars. I think that's like a rule his mom put, and he only has like fifty-seven dollars right now, so we went to Target and we bought him a teddy bear. It's right back here. Oh, it fell over, but it's like a big one, so hopefully he likes that. It was only like 20 bucks and he's a good kid, so we bought him that and also I was very disappointed in the chocolate yesterday, so I'm going to make some chocolate covered strawberries today and give a few to my mom for Valentine's. Also, I saw a YouTube video of someone making a crochet bouquet of flowers, they call them forever flowers, so I think I'm going to try to make one rose, like crocheted rose. and see how it turns out and then michael can give that to his valentine as well like a rose and a teddy bear anyway okay now we're running errands <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I got at Savers. I'm gonna drop my necklace. They had so much fabric, so I did end up buying some fabric, and hopefully I will actually end up making something out of it. But first I got this beanie, and I got this one, even though we don't have a child, it's like a kid's cute homemade beanie, but I'll just save it. I thought it was really cute and it's homemade, so then I got these two oops, green fabrics, and I want to try to make a dress out of it, hopefully. I got some fur fabric in case I wanted to like make a jacket and put some fur on the collar, I think that would be cute. And I got this, it is stretchy ribbed fabric, and I will pop a picture on the screen of what I'm thinking that I want to make out of it, like a comfy, cute matching set. Then at Joann's I just got some more green because I'm working on this pillowcase, I'll show you in a second. And then I got this blue, it's like silky baby type yarn. So it's softer and I'm gonna make a cardigan. 
And this is the pillow cover that I am making. I have a few more rows to go, then I gotta do the whole back side. If you wanna see more of that, you can go over to my craft channel. I will link it down below. And now I'm going to figure out how to crochet a rose. And then we will get on to making the Valentine's treats because we're gonna pig out tonight and watch a chick flick.